Hey there guys, Fury Atomic here, and welcome to uh, to another Konkole Kai tutorial. This time, being a most common question I've been asked. Hey Fury, how do you manage to get logistics set up? Oh hey Fury, how do you get uh, transport no, ships uh, done? Oh, Fairy, how do I get extra resources instead of doing like all this expeditions? Well, that's the common questions I get, and I guess I'll answer it in this Konkly Kai tutorial. So what you need is transport ships, some ships you will be unfortunately not going to be using. You can probably just saw right now, I've gained like about a few hundred, like a hundred something per. And... Since I also have transfer ships set up in each some of the hexagons, we are gonna show you guys how to get your transfer ship set up. So you need to go to construction, obviously, and get these transfer ships set up. So as you can probably notice you can use up you can use 50, 100, 1, 2, and 50 or 400 of those blueprints, or you can, and it's also set to a. Uh, what do we call that? A standard uh, recipe. Pretty much the minimum you need to use. And well, for now and for this tutorial, we're going to be using eight transport ships. And first thing, we are going to be taking a look at each resource income we can earn. So, say for example. Um, let's check here. How much resource will we get if we put in at least eight or nine? So we don't get that much. So we'll, I don't think it's gonna be a hassle for us to even try setting up a defense fleet there. Next gone above it. Um, for nine transfer ships, we get forty resource each. No. Let's check below it. We will earn 40 ammo now. I mean, it's it takes some time and patience to, and also decisions on where you want to set up your logistics since, like what I've shown, some of the hexagons won't supply a good stable amount. Well, I mean, like, hey, this one, you can get 80 with just not 8 to 9 ships in there. However, for the sake of this video, we're going to be using this hexagon. For what purpose? You can kind of see how much resources we'll get. 80 ammo and 125 steel. And steel is the number one thing that we kind of pretty much need at this point. So, we're going to roll with, with 9 transfer ships. Or 8. Because you don't get anything if you have 9, but if you have 8, it's still going to be fine. And here is your defense fleet, or setting up your defense ships. Now I do warn, you must have a cruiser or higher, because destroyers won't even work as flagships. So you need to have anything that is above a cruiser. Alright, and you can probably see, you can use a training cruiser, a light cruiser, a, a carrier. <laughs> Another cruiser. Just anything that, as long as it's above a cruiser level, it will be acceptable. And you can set up your destroyers later afterwards. It's just that your flagship must be a cruiser higher. I have no idea why, but I'm assuming because if you have at least a cruiser higher in your defense fleet, that's gotta be helpful. And we will save this change by clicking that, clicking that button. Alright, now you notice that we are going to gain 100 ammo and 155. And you can probably see right now, you've noticed that there was a increase in the amount of resources we earn now every turn we end. And then, if you have some spare transfer ships, you can, you can use them too. Well, increase your resources for some other uh, hexagons that have low transfer ships. And, well, over time, you might notice that you get 
constantly attacked by some abyssals. So, say for example, it's like you have some transport ships and defense fleet set up in somewhere among these six guns. You'll notice that they'll get attacked some frequently by submarines and aircraft carriers. You don't really need to worry much, but you just gotta pray that they won't take out your transport ships. <laughs> and that your defense fleet will successfully defend against the intruders. Otherwise, you're gonna lose your transport ships. <laughs> I mean, as long as you have... As long as you have defense fleet somewhere, you'll be good. But however, please note there is also a risk to still losing transport ships and getting your getting your defense fleet ships damaged. So there's pretty much a note you should also keep an eye on. You notice that some of your ships are taken on damage. I would highly rec recommend adding at least a few some of the other ships. If it's like four fleet, four defense ships set up, and then you can change it to six fleet, so that way your defense fleet currently won't get damaged as much. Your transport ships will have a less likely chance of being destroyed. Which is pretty much what happened to me for the past few times since I originally had like five or eight transport ships set, but I only have like four or five transport, no, defense fleet set. But hey, so I'm still experimenting with some of the transport ships and stuff. I really haven't been focusing on that uh, much. Now sometimes your resource income might not be as good as you probably want it to be. And you still need some more resources before the next turn. So what do you do? Okay. Well, go to your I well, you can go to this item menu. And you can buy as much resources as you want here using the in game blueprint exchange credits you have. So, let's say, for example, I have 3,400. I can buy I can buy 34 of these 300 fuel, ammo, box site, whatever you really need. But just note that you, you're still spending in game credits, <clears throat> not your money. Hope this tutorial helped for those who had questions about the resources and the transport ships. You still have any other questions? Feel free to ask me on Steam. Available 24/7. Well, not 24/7, but like 12 to 14 hours a week, a, a day. You still have any other questions or would like to get me, to me as soon as possible? Message me on Reddit. You can find me commenting on the subreddit of Conco. This is Fear Atomic, and I'll see you guys all later. Ja. Kaze? Oh my... No way! So that's our frickin' first event drop. Well, technically she...